I do love fireflies, and maybe it's because of my memory of chasing fireflies as a child, but that idea of everybody coming together for a single purpose. Everybody knows why you're there. And this idea that people aren't yelling at each other or complaining about the way you're doing something. It's just a joyful, creative time. That, and this is what I try to create with the teams that I work with. I loved it. It was simple, it was straightforward. You gave us an action plan that we could go back and teach others. I know everybody at Macy's would use this. I think I could use this with lots of groups, including my own group for sure. Um, I particularly like the steps and how simple it was to follow. So two and four is all about getting input from employees. And that is what employees want. Your employees want to give you their best thinking. They don't want to turn off their brain when they show up. They really want you to engage them. Because I promise you, burnout comes from worries that are just swarming around in your mind. And you feel that you have no control over them. And what I'm going to do is give you back the control you always had, but maybe got distracted by and lost sight of. have the blue analyzer, the green organizer, red personalizer, and yellow strategizer. So what can we learn from the HPDI? And this is really, really important. Preferences are neither good nor bad. Because if you think one of the quadrants is less valued, you're not going to be able to get the thinking represented on your team from that quadrant. You're the mediator. When you get into a debate in your team over the next couple of days, you play a critical role in helping the different uh, card colors to understand each other. All right, so you're like a, truly a translator of different languages. They were wasting millions, millions of dollars in steamed milk, because they don't re-steam the milk. Do you know what their very simple solution was that came from within the ranks? Simply etch a line inside the measuring cup when you pour the milk in so you know exactly how much to pour in. That's that simple. He says there was dancing in the street it's become folklore now about how much money they saved from a simple line being etched inside a container. And I promise you, I believe within each of our organizations, there are these kinds of simplistic solutions to our most difficult problems. And it's like, why not? Why wouldn't you want to tell them this is outside of scope? Or we've only got this much budget. Or that's important, but it's not a priority for this coming year. You've got to explain that up front and the rationale for why that decision was made. Because you know what? If anybody's just told that and they're not told why, it causes frustration versus understanding. And you'll get compliance, but you won't get commitment. It's true. After I've just generated this beautiful idea, I don't want you going and evaluating my idea and saying it's no good. But once you can separate a little bit from it, even if it's only 10 minutes, because that's why if you had a brain writing worksheet, you pass it to the next person and they begin to evaluate the ideas. Because then you don't feel so close to it. Over the next 45 minutes, remind you and reveal Three simple tools that you can use to get focused, get creative, and to get moving. You ready to get started? <laughs>